so after two c-sections i figured i'd make this video and it's my tips on i don't know what that was but tips on c-section aftercare so a quick brief of my knowledge of having c-sections is i had one scheduled and one that was i knew i was going to have the c-section but it ended up being an emergency like a week ahead of time so that's my knowledge on c-sections because yeah one was almost five years ago and the other one as this is being recorded was three weeks ago so i'm gonna do this because i felt like i couldn't really find a lot of tips on after care because i mean i always get asked but i feel like you know that's something you would ask google and it was just like taking care of your incision but i'm talking more about taking care of you so my first one and it'll probably be like mentioned repeatedly throughout this video is take it easy seriously something that i did not do this time was i did not take it easy and every night that i did not take it easy i always regretted it just remember a healthy mom and a healthy baby is the most important goal above all else that's the important goal and eventually you'll get back to it you just give yourself time take your medicine like beforehand like always be on top of your medicine because it really helps if you set a timer like not a timer set an alarm for every mine was every four hours so every four hours set an alarm to take your medicine gowns and loose dresses you're not going to want to wear pants you're not going to want to wear pajama pants you're not even going to want to wear leggings i know that's what i said i said <gasps> I'm totally gonna want to wear leggings and I put on leggings and I was like no I even had maternity leggings and those still weren't comfortable so gowns dresses even in the hospital you're not gonna want to wear that ugly stupid hospital gown you're gonna want to wear your own comfy clothes and I literally probably wore the same dress for like two weeks because it was just so comfortable and easy to breastfeed in <laughs> wear the mesh underwear trust me girlfriend you're gonna want to wear that mesh underwear like that's one thing that everyone's like oh yeah i changed out those immediately no don't lie don't say that you know you didn't because for one it's so much easier on your c-section incision two i mean why would you want to bleed honestly bleed in your underwear unless you bought like specific kinds um if you don't want to wear the mesh underwear i would recommend getting a belly bandit or a um what are they called c panties and it's pretty much for a c after um after a c-section it has a little patch for your incision so it doesn't rub it and it actually pulls your stomach in so, if you're not going to wear the mesh underwear for at least the first few days, make sure it's okay with your doctor first. Um, it was not okay with my doctor to wear a belly band or a bandit or anything like that. And I didn't even get like the time frame. So, I'm hoping at my four-week checkup, he could be like, yeah, you're good. Go ahead. <laughs> um, walk. Walk as soon as they tell you to. Uh, for me, for both of it, it was about 18 hours after. My second one, I could feel my feet a lot sooner, but I had a nurse that was not used to C-sections. She was in the um, delivery part of, the vaginal delivery part of the hospital, and I was just put over there for some reason. So she did not really understand C-sections, so she was so scared for me to move. Stool softener, sweetheart. You have, like, with C-sections, I don't know if it's with vaginal births as well, but with C-sections, you really want the stool softeners, just telling you. A pillow for sneezing, coughing, laughing, anything anytime you laugh sneeze cough even talk at times it hurts <laughs> um i had a little small travel pillow and that's what i used for like i would 
take it with me. And it also helped Wonders when I was headed home and that car ride. <laughs> Accept and ask for help. Anytime that this pregnancy, I would not accept or ask, or not this pregnancy, but this postpartum part, I have not asked for help. I have not done even accepted any help. Um, I don't know why I'm in this mood that I just want to do it myself. Also remember that six months after your c-section, up to six months, is the most important part of your body's healing. So don't rush into things. Take it easy. And just, I mean, you went through a major surgery and that's what a lot of people will just brush off that a C-section is not a major surgery. It is a major surgery and just don't give up. Like, just be patient and be positive. Um, like I said, give yourself time. And like I said, that six months are crucial. Your body still, um, has the pregnancy hormones. So you'll still have loose body fat. You'll still, um... I mean, you're not just going to go right back. I mean, some women do, but n not all women. And I mean, just embrace it. I mean, you did just have a baby, so don't worry. Um, the abdominal belt or the belly bandit or something just to pick up your stomach off of your incision, but also something that, um, that wraps around to hold your insides in and helps it. Something that I learned is high carb, low fat diet will help tremendously. Um, that's just to give you energy to help your body go right back into it. And you get all of the, the vitamins that you need. This one I found online as a tip and it's yoga and walking. So once again, do not do any exercise until your doctor has cleared you. I am three weeks postpartum and my doctor has not cleared me and he usually doesn't clear people until four weeks to six weeks um another one is breastfeeding breastfeeding your baby can help you lose weight after c-section it is one of the most effective ways to reduce belly fat and you must breastfeed your baby exclusively for six months now if you can't breastfeed that's okay i actually just posted a video about breastfeeding and how I'm feeling about it so if you want to go check that out you can uh I mean you don't really breastfeeding for to be let's be honest breastfeeding if you do it for the first four weeks of postpartum your uterus has already shrunk up into the size that need that is pre-pregnancy that's the word I was looking for uh another thing is if you do have the little belly flap I would recommend getting gauze pads and putting them in between the incision and your like so that way your belly is not just rubbing up against the um the incision and change if you do that change that twice daily and make sure your incision is always dry and if you have any tips comment down below but as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like i said if you have I wonder if that was caught on camera because scooter butt. If you have any questions, comment down below or send Instagram messages or even on Twitter. And I will answer them as soon as I can. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Also, another tip. Sorry, just now remember this one. Another tip that you can, uh, that is a really good tip is take your prenatal after. I was not told that by my OB. I was actually told that by a friend that taking your prenatal actually helps you and um, not only in breastfeeding or not only in your incision and c-section and just postpartum in general, but it helps in the uh, breastfeeding department. So, yeah. Also, another tip is drink plenty of plenty of plenty of water. Alright, now I'm done with the tips. Bye guys! <laughs>